Welcome back to another episode of Unplug TV. So guys, this morning, surprise, surprise, car is still in charge mode, 101.4%. Battery capacity has decreased again while charging. And have a look, we are at 100% and the car is still charging with 2.5 kilowatts. So this is not even, it has just slowed down from 3.5 to 2.5 kilowatts, but we are already at 102.7%, 101, 102% state of charge. So this again shows that the software is super totally uncalibrated to the battery. It does not recognize the state of charge and the state of health correctly. Another proof that this whole shit is a software problem. 2.2 kilowatts still. The battery gauge in the car shows full. We also should have a look at the voltage. So voltage is 4.1 volts already. 4.104. So battery should be at about 85-90% true state of charge but it's still pumping two and a half kilowatts in into the car okay it has slowed down to two kilowatts now so it goes down still charging i'm sure when i get back in the car in 10 minutes it will show us 98.9 percent The gasometer shows us 53 kilometers this morning after the hybrid drive last night. So, and today um, in my lunch break, possibly we will have the conference with Mitsubishi, the technical team of Mitsubishi Motors Australia, and I will discuss the battery situation of the PHEV with them, of course. This will be one topic, or maybe the main, the main topic. I don't think we have time to talk about anything else. I just want to make clear with them why they are not why they are not doing the same the same procedures as with the other car. I know it's a big company and they are it, it, they are moving slowly, so it, it's not like they can. Uh, guys, I know it, it's shit. I know it's a big company. I and I should not expect to move them quickly in one direction or the other. But geez, I mean, if you get such a feedback from customers, why would you not, why would you not pass this information on to the other dealership, which does exactly the same job on another car? This is just a phone call and a 10 minute talk to the technical staff over there. It's just so frustrating, you know, it takes, it takes just a phone call. Now with a larger capacity I can actually afford to have the air condition on in the morning. Ah, oh, this fresh air. <laughs> that feels like Canadian summer. See you soon again, local Mitsubishi dealer. Actually, I'm not sure if they have done a reset on the battery software at all. As you have seen when I picked up the car, it obviously has erased all the information in the in the BMS and the dog shows 0.00 kiloampere hours charge and all this kind of stuff. So at the beginning it looked like they just did a reset on the battery put a new battery in there, did a reset as they should as per the manufacturer procedure which is not working but then after a while I thought about the whole situation and it doesn't even look like a reset all the values have reset but not the state of health 
the state of health is not at 100% as it should be. If you do a reset on the BMS, everything goes back to 100% and starts from there. But in this car it hasn't done it. I picked it up with 96.1% and I can, cannot imagine it has degraded 4% just while sitting somewhere in, um, in the yard at the dealership in Tovumba. Because they have only driven 32 kilometers. This was the only difference on the odometer. So they have obviously done only one test drive with the car afterwards and then it was sitting there for days or whatever I don't know I don't know what they have done actually I have no information I will find out in the um, actual conference call today with Mitsubishi so a reset on the battery a full reset on the battery management system should always bring back the state of health to 100% and not to 96 only so something is not quite right of course they need to enter the age of the battery which the dog shows us as 60 days which is not true either because if the manufacturing date of the battery is October 2018 and we have now end of January in fact we've got the first of February today November December January three months 30 days each makes 90 days not 60 so all these figures are not matching up correctly something is not right arrived with 29 kilometers so about four kilometers less than yesterday but i had the aircon on on 24 degrees nice and cool as we like it in canada okay guys um i'll um talk to you later when we had the conference call and let you know what the outcome was i hope it's um effective and this all makes sense <laughs> Not gonna work okay so I've got my lunch break now and awaiting a call from Mitsubishi Modus Australia to discuss my vehicle well don't know what to expect from this call but um, it's good we have something in place to ring them directly and don't have to talk to a dealership first so let's see I'm positive. I'm super positive. And I just confirmed with our other team member who got the battery replaced uh, three or four weeks ago. His car went into a second service to do the reset, DB cam and smoothing. He confirmed the battery status, state of health has not changed since. So obviously whatever they have done over there has worked magic on the software <laughs> I'm good I'm good thanks how are you sure yeah so I picked up the car on Wednesday morning um, after nine days being with the other dealership in Tovumba where they have the battery replaced yeah. and um, the car showed 96% um, state of health so it was already degraded by 4% um, after they have done the reset. Yeah, no, no, that's totally fine. I mean, this is a big step that we can actually talk to Mitsubishi directly now and share the information directly to you. And I'm not expecting this to be fixed in, in the next couple of weeks or months or something. This is a long-term goal, what we have here or what, what I can see and to fix the software is not like they change the code or something and then apply them to the car and everything works because there will be more changes necessary afterwards this is more changing something than testing again changing testing changing testing so okay thanks bye bye okay guys so quick update of this I think it was a good call it was 
it was not like the other forum we had before when the heap of people were in this forum and everyone was just start complaining and whinging about their own personal cars and trying to get results very quickly and that's exactly what they said just now on the phone this is a long-term situation we have now with Mitsubishi it's not like changing the wheels and you are done there's more they are they are happy to look into the software side as well I will provide them with data and information now and I also um, said look if you want the car here at the dealership to take some information and data just let me know I'll pop in it's only a couple of hundred meters away here and they can have the car for the day or something to do some more testing or put a new software on or whatever I'm happy to be the beta tester of all the PHEVs <laughs> so now meeting went well I'm pretty happy with that so they apologized for not making any um, correspondence with me during the car was away for nine days and they promised to do it better the next time with the next replacement they are learning so it's for both sides is for others for us as the customers and for them as Mitsubishi a learning experience to work I think closely together with customers in this relation this technical relation and because I think most of the time they just get bashed with um, inquiries and um, expectations from customers saying oh this motor this engine is not working this car is not working as advertised and this is not working correctly I want a new car I want this one I want my money back and all this kind of crap but I'm I'm not at the point to give up on this car I don't want to sell it after just now on the battery replacement I want to get this improved or at least see the way I, I want to see the end goal and saying look Mitsubishi is working on a solution they are they are looking into the software now they are checking the software they're working on a solution and it will come it may take a year or maybe or two years but eventually we will have this problem resolved and this is this would be the ultimate end of my channel maybe <laughs> no I'm just kidding but this would be the goal for everyone to have a new software on here which is able to talk to the battery correctly and provide the right information for well every driver worldwide this would be ideal um, Michael just mentioned again Mitsubishi uh, Japan obviously does not see a problem with the battery temperature in these cars at all it may not be necessary that these batteries need to be that cool as we think it may be they are more robust than we all um, yeah thought and they can cope with his heat stress just fine without any further degradation well if they are not concerned if they give you if they give us a 10 year peace of mind warranty on this battery I mean let's do it let's do it Okay guys, so far this um, meeting I better go back to work now, do some other stuff and I'll be back after work. And then we fix this OBD Bluetooth setting which is not working anymore for some reason. It worked this morning but then not anymore. So I can't check on the car and see if the state of charge has actually decreased again. Okay guys, so far this little update to our team meeting. <laughs> So let's see how much capacity we have lost while parking. Gained, we gained energy again while parking. 0 0.4 or 0 0.4 ampere hours. Amazing, amazing. That's how it was exactly when I bought the car. And then it stopped all of a sudden and I had only minus negative losses. And now a new battery, it's back, it's back. I don't know. Can be only software related <laughs> okay i'm in a positive mood now i'm in a very positive mood now after our conversation with mitsubishi i think giving them all the information all the data and everything and they trigger the whole software issue from their end and what michael said um, poke the bear in japan and see what they can achieve over there so 
And of course, I'm very happy to provide all this information. I've got a direct line now to the technical manager over there. And this is awesome. This is awesome. So we don't, I don't need to talk to the dealerships anymore of in, in terms of this battery issues. I can talk directly to them and they trigger everything which needs to be done from the other side now. This is a whole new approach now and I'm, I'm excited for that. This is, this is something we all have achieved now, not me talking to the camera. That was just the initial start up of this whole pr communication process with Mitsubishi now. But you as a community as well, you provided feedback. You told everyone your story, you shared your experience. And we all have achieved so we can talk directly to the manufacturer of this product and hopefully make it better. That sounds very positive now in comparison to yesterday. Okay guys, that's just how it is. I will send Michael all the information about the battery degradation since I picked up the car here. So he will get the screenshots and all the information, all the data um, of the battery status at this point of time when the degradation ha happened. I mean, we all know it's not the battery, it's not a battery degradation. The battery cannot degrade that fast within one kilometer. That's just crap. So I will give them all the information here from the dog and then we go from there. And I'm back home. Look at this. 13 kilometers left on the gasometer and we have almost 50% state of charge still. And I was driving like I've just stolen the car. So I've not used any detour this morning. I was driving on the highway to work and back home. I've used the aircon this morning on my way to work. I haven't used it now, but it was just not too hot. I've used the aircon in my lunch break for half an hour and still 12 kilometers left, okay almost 13 but this is amazing i mean the battery is back to normal it it feels like a new battery actually it's like a 95 percent state of health battery really really a hundred percent would feel different because i would have about 50 53 percent left but this is all this is this is good already it's good it's good we are getting there okay guys so far this exciting day again where's the thing so fast um i've got another customer appointment tomorrow on saturday so i will fully charge the car overnight again and see if the battery degrades again tomorrow morning i I really expect it will. It will go down. We'll go down to 36.1 ampere hours and 95.1 percent. Well, I've used insane 11 ampere hours without aircon. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged, and we will see us in the next video. I'll keep you posted. See you then. Bye bye.